Before I open the code, I want to talk about TSX for a moment. React components are written in TSX, at least the Ionic React components. TSX is like JSX, but with TypeScript. Right now, that probably doesn't tell you a whole lot. When you see it, I hope the syntax won't be too jarring. If you've never seen JSX or TSX before, it can take some getting used to. JSX, and by extension TSX, is an extension to JavaScript that enables you to include HTML markup directly inside your code. To show you what I'm talking about, consider this code snippet. We start off with an array of fruits. That should appear pretty normal to anyone familiar with JavaScript. But then look what it does. It immediately returns HTML. So we have a div containing an h1, a paragraph, an h2, and an unordered list. Inside that unordered list, things get a little more interesting. We reference the fruit array and call the array map function. The map function takes an arrow function, which accepts each element as it iterates over the array. Here, I'm assigning that array element the letter f. I don't normally recommend naming variables this way, but when I have a single arrow function with a single line of code like I do here, I think it's pretty obvious what's going on. So each element of the fruit array gets mapped to an li with the fruit of each element of the array. Notice the curly braces, though, surrounding the call to fruit.map. That's an indication to TSX that we're going to run some code here. Think of it essentially as a replacement function. At this point inside the UL, this block is going to get replaced with the execution of what's inside it. And the same thing happens inside of the li. Rather than display a constant value, we're going to evaluate the value of f and replace that curly brace expression with the value at that point. I promise this will become much more clear as we go. I didn't want you to see the Ionic React code for the first time and not at least have had this brief explanation. So now let's fire up VS Code and have a look at what we're dealing with in the real app, the Ionic App Wizard generated for us.